my brother right here, the Lord says he wants to encourage you. He said, you've been up against some hard things. He says, but I'm there for you. He said, especially for you physically. He says, son, I'm your healer. I'm the God that heals you. Take my hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for healing anointing to flow. I pray for life to flow in this brother. In Jesus' name, Lord, just lift him up. Like, like it says in the Psalms, you lifted my feet up out of the miry clay and set him on a rock to stay. Let his feet be firmly planted on that rock, Christ Jesus. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This fella back here with the green shirt on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Said, I have many beginnings for you. I see seven. And, and if you'll believe, God will show you the start of all seven of them in your life. And I'm talking about in the weeks and months to come. God's going to start. Oh, my who I feel the Holy Ghost, brother. Lord, seven new things you're going to begin in this brother's life. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, you haven't always felt real close to me. He said, but son, get ready. You're going to think you're going to need a seatbelt sometimes. What God's going to do because he's got his hand on you. And you never, it, it, there are things God's going to do with you. You never had, you, it ain't even never crossed your mind. But they're going to start coming. God's going to begin to reveal things to you. Because he's going to use you. He's called you to be a part of this last day move of the spirit. In Jesus name, let it be so. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hmm. Because you've been faithful, my son. Hmm. He said the things you've been praying about, and you think, God, well, you just they just kind of got put to the side. The Lord says, Son, don't you know that every problem you have is for my glory to manifest? Every weakness, every area in your life where you see a de deficit of some kind. God says, I'm there to fill it. And he says, I've not put anything out of your reach, but I gave you a measure of faith that can rise and walk in the fullness of what I have for you. Remember, when I call for you to come to me, come empty, <laughs> and I will fill. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, brother. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This couple right here, would you all stand up? God wants to do some new things in y'all's life and marriage. Okay? I don't care how good it's been or how bad it's been, it's going to be better. Ooh, shama day. Amen. It's going to get better. God doing a great work in your life. Amen. Doing a work in her life. Amen. Now, I'm going to, sister, I need you to hold this microphone. In the name of Jesus. Release the power of God right there. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus, mighty name. Bring that change by your power, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I feel God here this morning. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord told me, he said, he said, my people don't know that I'm like them. I want you to think about this. Jesus is like you and you're like him. He was made like unto his brethren in all points. If he was to appear to you, he could sit down and talk to you 
just like a friend talking to you. And he wouldn't come to point your faults out. He'd come to encourage you. It's who he is. I've never, I have seen Jesus one time. I saw his feet the first time. And then the next time I saw him in a church, he was standing there in the church and he, ta he talked to me. But I've never had a real close, you know, but yet I know him. Know him. He's so real. He's a real person. He's not some mystical God. He's real. And you can talk to him face to face. Amen. Would you stand up? The mm. Lord says you're stronger than you think. Because I gave you strength. I gave you a measure. He says, get your eyes off of that physical side, that weak side. He said, keep looking towards me. Look through my word. He said, because I've given you the strength you need. Raise your hands. Say, Lord, I receive the strength I need every day. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Let it be imparted to her right now. And I see something squishing under your feet right now. I'm praying for you. You know what it is? It's a serpent. The Lord says, see that I have put your enemy, the, the serpent, under your feet, my daughter. He snapped at your heel <laughs> a lot, but just put your foot on his head. Don't be afraid of him, for I've conquered him, and I'm in you, and you're in me. Hallelujah. But exercise that authority. Speak it and believe it, and don't back down. Hallelujah. Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Brother, right here, Lord says, be patient. But that doesn't mean to sit back and wait. It means to keep moving forward with what you know. For I see some promises that haven't been fulfilled yet. And the Lord says, my son, do you believe me? Am I a man that I should lie? No. The Lord says, all my promises are fulfilled if my people believe. And he says, so it is with you, my son. I will fulfill everything. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Does anybody here has pain in your body right now? Anybody got pain? I kind of thought you might. Would you stand up? In the name of Jesus. I command the pain to leave. It has to. Now. And go, Lord, I ask you to go right to whatever's causing it and effect a healing and a cure. In the name of Jesus, from the crown of her head ooh, to the soles of her feet. Mm. I just believe. See, my hand's anointed. My hand has anointing of God on it. I want you to receive that right now. Oh, yeah, see? As you start receiving, it start flowing in you. Just receive. Just, just relax in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He says, don't worry, you're worthy. I made you worthy to receive this. You're my child. He said, I'm more than happy and willing to do this. And he says, believe that every day, every day, you're getting better and better. Can you say that? Say, every day, I'm getting better and better, stronger and stronger. My health is renewed. In Jesus' name. Believe that. Did anybody else have pain in your body this morning? Anybody here? Okay, come here. Where's your pain now? Okay, maybe 
maybe some acid reflux thing. Hey, uh, yeah. Now, I've had that so bad that my chest would hurt. Yeah. You know what? I, I was praying. I said, Lord, how come I'm not healed? He said, I want you to speak to your throat and esophagus. I started doing it. I said, esophagus, be made whole. It got where I couldn't hardly swallow food. But I just kept speaking to it. Esophagus be made whole. Throat be healed. Yeah. And, and, it, and it took a while. It took several months. I just kept doing it. And it got better. Now, I'm anointed. Okay? I have healing in this hand. It's not me. It's Jesus. Okay? But I just, I want you to know that this is a gift of healing. If you'll receive it, it'll, it'll bring a cure in you. Will you receive it? In the name of Jesus. Oh, there it goes right there. Healing. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Heal this throat, the esophagus. And Lord was causing the acid reflux. I ask you to bring the healing and a cure. That it will cease as you make him whole. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Was there anybody else had pain? Where's your pain at, brother? <laughs> That's right. Wow. you just preached me a really good sermon just then <laughs> amen so you got the word in you amen and if, it, and if you can believe for God to heal your blind eyes I tell you what that's pretty good isn't it come on amen I believe he can believe for everything else he needs amen so I'm just an encourager right now <laughs> amen I want to encourage you I believe, I believe I just give him well the Lord did give him a word a little bit ago about that didn't he that's right. So it's confirmation. So Lord, reach your hand out towards him. Father, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke all pain from this body. And let it receive healing right now and whatever causes the pain to leave. Now thank you, Lord. You have made him victorious. You conquered the devil and gave him the scepter of righteousness. Hallelujah. We thank you for it. That every battle is fought by the name of Jesus. And that he's already called to be victorious and overcomer. We declare it this day in Jesus' name as healing flows in this body. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody give God a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. It's on your heart. Oh, I know you, you wanted the family. <laughs> yeah. speak to the tree, the mountain, and you can talk to your hips. Amen? We're going to get it started today. Ida, come here.
my Lord wants me to tell you, you have to resist this and say, no, you have no right. The blood of Jesus is against. We overcome by the blood. The devil has no right to afflict your body. Your body is the temple of God, but you have to, just like you would resist the temptation to sin, you resist this in the name of Jesus because you're redeemed from the curse. And we thank you, Father, right now for healing in this body. And it went in you when I prayed for you. Just thank God for it and just walk in it. Believe for it. It began this day. Amen. 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 Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Boy, if you can come back Wednesday, we're going to continue this. I've got so much more to share. Hallelujah. I know sometimes it's a sacrifice to make an effort to come out during the week. I know you got kids. They got things in school. But you know, real revivals, the ones that are we're going to begin to see, they, they'll just go 24 hours. Oh, you watch. They're just, folks, if we don't have a revival, this nation is done. You can stick a fork in it. Mm -hmm. You know, a while back, they had that football player that had that heart attack. And you saw a lot of people on their knees praying. Hmm? What does that tell you? It tells you when we really need God, we're... Amen. Amen. Well, this nation's got to that. And then, I didn't watch it, but somebody sent me some clips of it. What was the Emmys? Where the guy come out, he had horns and downs. I mean, it was all... And, and what did... Uh, what's her name? Uh, 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 she's got a... Madonna said he's going to do an unholy dance. Boy, she nailed it, didn't she? <laughs> you talk about evil. I mean, it was in your face, evil. So the devil's come out of the closet, hadn't he? He's not hiding anymore. And it's time we come out of the, not closet, but get out beyond the church of four walls. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Um. Let me listen to the Lord just a little bit here. I'm, I'm fixing to turn it over to the pastor. Thank you, Lord. Pray one more time with me. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Young lady, would you stand up right here? Would you stand up? Just raise your hands up like that. Say, Jesus, Jesus you're my everything. You are my everything. And even right, now, even right now, you are doing a work in me. Jesus, do it right there. Thank you, Father. Her heart's desire be released in her right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Change, change, change is happening. Even now, says the Lord. Things you desired that have been on hold are released to you. Receive and walk in them. And resist the enemy's attempts to discourage because you are mine and my glory rests upon you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, brother. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. First off, I just wanted to say, I promise you, I did not tell him to preach on the tongue. I have preached on that so many times. But it's so true. It's like the beginning of everything. The genesis of it. Amen. And, uh, and I'm going to preach it again. And I'm going to preach it again. And I'm going to preach it again. Because that's where it starts. At the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. We can't tame the tongue, but you can tame your heart. And that in turn will tame. I was thinking as he was sharing it you know and he went to James and I was thinking about the horse and then it also talks about a ship and I was thinking it said that little helm will turn that ship gigantic ship aircraft carrier just all the guy's got to do is turn that wheel and it's gone I was thinking you can turn the wheel and keep it in the middle of the of the canal or whatever 
or you can just turn it and beach the thing. Say, there's a lot of people in this church, I say a lot too, that um, a lot of your, your faith and hope has been beached by the overthrow, by the tongue. Amen? You know, and uh, some people come in this church and they talk to me and right out of their mouth, oh, everything's going wrong, right off the bat. You know, and I was just thinking about a lady in our church and uh, she stood up here and I preached a message total on the tongue, almost, a, almost word for word. This was about three, four years ago. And I remember to this day because she stood right here and I was looking at the clock and within two minutes she said seven times, I can't do this. She said, I, I can't go out past five because I can't breathe. I can't, and, five, and I was just watching the clock, I was watching the hand on the clock. And when she's done, I said, you don't know this, but and I was watching the clock, and in two minutes, you said seven times, I can't do this. I said, well, what's easy to say? I can't do this, so I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. And she said, well, you don't understand, Pastor? I said, no, I do understand. Your world right now has shrunken down to the size of your bedroom, your house. And I said, let me tell you what, it's going to shrink down even further than that if you continue. Soon you won't even be able to come out of your bedroom at 5 o'clock. Then you'll be trapped in your bed. But we had a movie that Friday night. That was on Sunday. Friday night we had a Christian movie we were showing here. And the movie started at 7. And she walked in the door at 7 o'clock. And I saw her and I, and I looked at the clock. She went, see that? <laughs> I said, boy, that was fast, you know. So you've been, you've been speaking good for, what, five days, six days? And here you are. Amen. So it didn't take her long to finally... Get that faith just grew in there, and she came to the movie. She's breathing fine, you know? Amen. But that's, that's just the way it is. You, it starts. Life and death and the power of the tongue. You know, in Proverbs, I thought he was going to quote the one that said, and those that understand this will eat the fruit of it. Amen? Prosperity, happiness, peace, health. This is where it's coming from. Because you see, it's coming from the heart. But just think how powerful that tongue, that tongue is that got you saved. When you finally believed in your heart and you opened your mouth and confessed. And then salvation came. Well, some of y'all need salvation in your health. You need salvation in your finance. You need salvation in your job. You need salvation in your car. <laughs> Amen. When you were saying that, I was thinking about Danny. His engine blew up this week. You know, you need salvation in the car. You need salvation in everything you do. Amen. But it's got to start in your heart. And then you got to confess it correctly in your mouth. And then you got to stick with it. Like it says in James, the farmer plants and then he turns up for the harvest. No, he waits patiently while he's weeding it, making sure the animals don't eat it. And he keeps nurturing that crop. Then he gets his harvest. Amen. So stand on your feet. Let's close out in prayer. Amen. We'll be, we'll be having prayer tonight. And Bill will be back on Wednesday. So he's got some more good stuff. I have no idea. I don't tell him what to preach. He doesn't even ask me anymore. <laughs> what do they need? Well, if he, if he would have called me, I would have said, preach on the tongue. I'm, I'm telling you. That probably, and I just went, listen to this, man. Because I listen to you people. I listen. You know, and... I hear what you're, how you say it. And it's just, and you know, it's like this world. It's just, it, we're trained in a negative. We have to work on this to reverse that. Start speaking the truth. Jesus wants you to prosper, not just in money, but in your health, in your mind, in your attitude, in your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, Father, I just thank you, Lord, for this morning. Thank you for the word, O oh Lord. You have confirmed so many things in this church through this one message today from Brother Bill. So I just pray right now, Lord, that they'll take it to their heart and begin to work on it. They need to exercise their faith. They need to put it into operation in their lives. Change the way they're speaking. Change the way they're thinking. And definitely change in their heart those dark, empty beliefs that are there and change it into faith and belief. 
So I lift him up, Lord, and we just pray right now, blessing over Bill and Ida. And we just thank you, Lord, for them being here today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right.